have you ever had to get a chest x-ray in the hospital if yes we are pretty sure that you had to wait a few days to get the report for your chest x-ray this is common in almost all the hospitals in sri lanka have you ever thought what happens if this delay of few days make the illness worse and puts the patient into a more critical state for a patient every second is very valuable this is why we need a faster method to diagnose diseases using chest x-rays we created a chest x-ray captioning module which can generate reports for chest x-rays automatically within a few seconds in this project we explored how we can develop a machine learning model with high accuracy to generate captions for chest x-ray images using the latest techniques our main goal here is to save the time and the cost of radiologists let's Let's investigate why it takes some days for the hospital to provide us with the chest x-ray report. The chest x-ray images generated in the medical field have been increasing day by day. Researchers show that over 12,000 reports are assigned per radiologist per year, which is approximately 50 to 100 images per working day. It takes 5 to 10 minutes to write a normal report and more for complex long reports. Is that all? No. Apart from being time consuming, chest x-ray report generation also need well trained and qualified experts in the process of obtaining high accuracy. Our approach is not the first attempt at automating chest x-ray captioning. Various methods have been proposed earlier, but still there are multiple issues in fully automating this process to obtain captions similar to human generated captions. Our proposed method gives better results for chest x-ray images compared to the state of art. As the novel contribution, we experimented using the LXMART model for caption generation and using TextNet to improve a state of art model. Initial studies for chest x-ray image captioning have followed encoder-decoder architecture. Encoder is used to extract important features of input images and convert into a vector. Decoder is used for caption generation by using features. Initial studies have used convolution neural network and recurrent neural network as encoder and decoder respectively. Later, the recurrent neural network was replaced by transformers. For our experiments, we use, used Indiana University Chest X-ray dataset. It contains 7,470 total images, but we used only 5,910 images as the rest of the images did not have captions. You can see an example image and caption from the dataset here. We implemented our model in two approaches. The first approach is to develop a new captioning mechanism instead of using traditional captioning mechanisms like LSTM and transformers. The second approach is to use a state of art model and introduce a novelty to achieve better results. In the first approach, to build a new captioning model, we selected LXMART, which is originally used for question answering. It has three main components, object relationship encoder, language encoder, and the cross modality encoder. For question answering tasks, the object relationship encoder takes the objects and features from the images as inputs. The language encoder takes questions as the input and the model outputs one single ID. We did two attempts in the first approach. The first attempt is shown here. We modified the LXMAT so that its language encoder takes captions as input while the object relationship encoder takes objects and features from the images as inputs. The sequence of IDs corresponding to the words of vocabulary is the output of the model.
The final output is the sequence of words converted from IDs. Here we try to utilize the special attention based cross modality encoder to map the relationship between objects of the images and the captions. In the second attempt of the first approach, we change the input from captions to masked text. We create the, created the masked text by replacing all the words in the caption by the word mask. As there is no proper caption provided as input now, the model learns only from the image object features. Rest of the model is similar to the attempt one. Now let's come to the second approach. Here we introduced a novel feature into a current state of art model. We chose memory driven transformer. Its memory driven conditional layers and relational memory have helped the transformer model to achieve better results than any other state of art model at the time. Our novel contribution here is to improve the accuracy of the feature extraction model. Authors of memory driven transformer has used ResNet 101 model which is trained on general image data set. Our argument was that ResNet 101 doesn't have the ability to extract better features from chest x-ray images since general images and chest x-ray images are completely different. Therefore, we tried using ChexNet model instead of ResNet 101 for feature extraction. ChexNet is a dense convolution neural network with 121 layers. It is trained on X-ray 14 classification dataset. This dataset contains 14 different disease classes with 112,000 X-ray images. This ChexNet model is the state of art model in the domain of chest X-ray classification. Since it is trained on chest X-ray images, it has the feature extraction ability on X-ray images more than ResNet 101. Now let's come to the results. The first attempt of the first approach didn't give good results as it tended to overfit from the first epoch. But second attempt gave better results. These are two captions generated for two different chest x-ray images in our second attempt of the first approach. If we look at them, there are some similar phrases. But if we take the whole caption, in both cases, the predicted captions do not possess all the required information. Here we have shown the two captions generated in our second approach. Unlike the previous one, here we can see the captions are almost similar. The evaluation was done in two phases, the technical evaluation and the human evaluation. For the technical evaluation, we use three evaluation matrix which are commonly used in caption generation domain, blue, rouge and meteor. The human evaluation was done by a well experienced radiologist. These are the blue, meteor and rouge scores of the current state of art models and our approaches. We obtained best scores by using ChexNet with the memory driven transformer in the R2Gen model. Training the whole model with zero learning rate for the ChexNet gave the best results. This table shows the results of the expert evaluation. We did it using four, four criteria as shown in the slide. According to the average marks, we can say that our captions generally don't describe any additional disease that is not in the x-rays. But we can see sometimes the captions are not meaningful and they do not describe all the diseases in the x-ray. To summarize and discuss all what we did, in the first approach, we made two attempts. The results of the first attempt 100% depended on input captions, so the model tended to overfit from the first epoch. In the second attempt, we removed the caption input so the output only depended on object features of the image. It provided better results than the first attempt. In the second approach, 
Compared to our baseline, we could achieve better results by freezing the weights of the ChexNet Visual Feature Extractor. ChexNet is fine-tuned on Chest X-ray 14 dataset. When training it with IU X-ray dataset, weights in the Feature Extractor are changed in a manner to provide better caption predictions. By freezing its weights, we could preserve image feature extraction ability and extract correct features and predict more accurate sentences based on the image features. Therefore, we can conclude that fine-tuning the feature extractor does not improve the performance of the model. In addition, we can conclude that DenseNet is a better feature extractor for chest x-ray image captioning when compared to ResNet. Because out of ResNet 101 and ChexNet, which are trained on the same dataset, ChexNet provides better results for chest X-ray images. From this research, we concluded that LXMOD model is not suitable for a chest X-ray caption generator as it gives very low results. The R2Gen transformer with the ChexNet model performs well in chest X-ray captioning. Thank you.